once again. So was this a difficult problem? Uh, not at all. But then if you were stuck, well, I'm here to help you. So let's look at what is given to us. We've been asked to find the value of this particular expression here. If you closely observe this, the first term you have cos pi by 8 and the last term you have cos 7 pi by 8. Add these two arguments, what do you get? Pi by 8 plus 7 pi by 8 is nothing but pi. The similar thing happens with the middle terms. There's a 3 pi by 8 and a 5 pi by 8 and you add them, you again get pi. This is a clear indication that you have to simplify these two terms by using the formula cos of pi minus theta is minus cos theta. So if you use this particular formula, our expression now reduces to this very simple form from which you can further simplify using 1 minus cos square theta is equal to sine square theta formula and finally I have an expression in terms of sine squares. Now I have sine square pi by 8 and sine square 3 pi by 8. I'm going to simplify this further because I'm going to express sine in terms of cos. How do I do that? I'm going to use cos of pi by 2 minus theta is equal to sine theta and I'm going to reduce this particular expression in terms of sines and cosses. So immediately I get an expression in terms of sines and cosses and what's more interesting? The arguments are exactly the same, isn't it? It's sine square pi by 8 and cos square pi by 8. As soon as you have sine square pi by 8 and cos square pi by 8, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply and divide by 4 and I can write this as 2 times sine pi by 8 cos pi by 8 the whole square divided by 4. Now you have a 2 sine a cos a which is nothing but sine 2a and my expression reduces to 1 by 4 of sine 2 pi by 8 the whole square. Now I know the value of what is sine 2 pi by 8. Sine 2 pi by 8 is nothing but sine pi by 4. Sine pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. So you have 1 by 4 multiplying 1 by root 2 square which is nothing but 1 by 8 which is given an option C. So option C is the right answer to this particular problem. Now was this a difficult problem? Believe me, if you knew the first trick which was to convert some of the causes using cos of pi minus theta formula, this problem was as good as solved, wasn't it?